Week 9, Problem 3. A 40 milliamp current is carried by a uniformly wound air core solenoid with 400 turns, a 10 millimeter diameter, and a 10 centimeter length. Okay, can be the magnetic field inside of a solenoid. All right, so magnetic field inside a solenoid, remember from previous, we want to say S for solenoid, mu naught i, number of turns per length. Bam. Okay, so they probably give us answers for all of this. So I'm going to say that mu is 4 pi times 4 pi times 10 to the negative seventh. Check. Current is did they tell us current? 40 mil, 4 milliamps. 4 or 40? 40. 40. So 40 times 10 to the negative third. Number of turns is 400. 4 times 10 to the second over length, which is 10 centimeters. So 10 times 10 to the negative, I'm going to say 10 to the negative third, no. 10 to the negative second is uh, one, 10 to the negative first. There we go. See, I almost failed right there, right there. So we're going to have, what is it, 16 pi? 16 pi, 4 times 4, make this negative 2, make that a negative 1, make that a 1, make that a 10 to the negative 6th. Don't forget another 4, there's another 4, 64. 64 pi times 10 to the negative 6th. 4, 4, 4, hmm, maybe. I should probably actually do that again just to make sure. So negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus 2 is... Mm, 8. Ah, I probably missed something up there. All right, I'll do this again. Oop. Boom. All right. Mu naught, 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th. Current is 40 times 10 to the negative 3rd. Turns is 4 times 10 to the 2nd. And then length as stated earlier, was 10 centimeters. So it's 10 times 10 to the negative second meters. <clears throat> okay. So here, change this to red. So 7 minus 3 is negative 10. Negative 10. Plus 2 is 10 to the negative 8th. 10 to the negative 8th, 10 to the negative 6th. And then we have this, which makes it 10 to the negative seventh again. So we have a two and the two cancel out. Hmm. Okay, I'm good with this. So I'll do this. Oh, then we'll multiply by 40, which will give us 10 to the negative sixth again, times the 10 in there. So yep, 64 pi. 64 pi times 10 to the negative sixth. And that is Tesla's. So they probably want it in micro teslas. They do want it in micro teslas. So I'm going to go to here and do 64 times pi. It's like what, 180? 200. 201. Oh, 201 micro teslas. Bam, got it. So I'm going to call this guy 201. Should just call it 200. All right, calculate the magnetic flux through each turn. So magnetic flux, we know from earlier. Yeah, that red is just too aggressive, too aggressive. Ooh, there we go. Oh, baby blue. So it is magnetic field times area. So through each turn. So each turn is going to be a circle with a rate, diameter of 10 millimeters. A diameter of 10 millimeters is a radius of 5 millimeters. 
So I'm going to have 200 times 10 to the negative sixth, check, times 5, bam, with a, damn, yep. So we're going to do 5 times 10 to the negative third squared, pi r squared, oh, pi. So pi r squared, that's the area of a circle. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify this slightly. So we're going to have 2 times 10 squared times 10 to the negative 6. 5 squared is 25. 10 to the negative third squared is 10 to the negative 6. Mm, that's small. That's really hoping it get bigger. All right, so <coughs> 50 pi times 10. Let's see, we have 10 to the negative 6, 10 to the negative 12, 10 to the negative tenth. So six, negative 6 minus 6 is t negative 12. Negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. So I'm going to do 50 pi. Let's see here. 170. 157. Way off. 157. 157 times 10 to the negative tenth. They probably want nano? Tesla's per meter squared. Yeah? That's Tesla's. That's meters. Yep. Yep, I'm going to do that. So I'll do 1.57 times 10 squared times 10 to the negative 10th equals 1.57 times 10 to the negative eighth. That's what I'm going to go with. Which is not many Teslas per square meter. Okay, got it. You probably put like a little E in there or something for the, so it'll be for you peoples, 1.57 E negative eight. But you won't use 1.57 because the numbers are probably different. But that's about what you should look like. All right, compute the inductance of the solenoid. I don't even do the inductance of a solenoid. Inductance. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, self-inductance. Sing ooh, ooh. Single solenoid is all this? Yeesh. Let's see, and our radius is much smaller than our length, kind of, sort of. So it's probably this equation? Oh, that's just a, that's a factorial. That's like a, a, like a Taylor series type thing. I'm going to ask Google. Inductance of a solenoid. There we go. Images. Yeah, that's the guy I'm going to go with right there. So I'm going to say that inductance equals mu mm, and then I'll go with something. Is there a purple? Yes. I haven't used purple yet. I don't even know why. I like purple. Who doesn't like purple? Kind of like blue, just not really. N squared A. Over length. Alright, this is what I'm going to go for. The random equation that I got from Google. So, mu naught is going to be 4 pi times 10 to the 7th. 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th. Almost got me there. Almost got me. Um, N is 400. So it'll be 400. 4 times 10 to the second squared. Area will be pi r squared, which will be, as we did up here, 5 times 10 to the negative third squared pi all over pi r squared length. And the length, I think we said, was 10 centimeters. So it'll be um, 10 times 10 to the negative second. There we go. All right, so let's start doing some simplifications. Ooh, looks like we got two pies in there. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Lots of squares. <sighs> so let's do, let's do 4 times 4 is 16. Nah, I'm not going to do that way. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 4 is 80. 
bam. So all the numbers added up together are 80. We have two pies. So we have 10 to the, some contrast here, and orange. So we have negative seven. Ah, oh, but then we had another, oh, no, that's not right. Because I forgot to square them. So we're gonna have, all right, so we're gonna have four. Mm -hmm. I don't feel comfortable with that color. All right, we'll go. All right, so we're gonna have four times four squared, which would be 16, times five squared, which is gonna be 25, times pi squared, because we've got two of those guys, times, let's see, 10 to the negative seventh, We have 10 squared squared, which would be 10 to the fourth. And we'll have 10 to the negative third squared, which would be 10 to the negative six. And then on the bottom, we have this guy becomes 10 to the negative one, which is the same as a 10 to the first up top. Okay, so I'm gonna do four times 16 times 25 times pi squared. Yep, which is one five. I'm gonna just call that one fifty eight. One point five eight times ten to the one two three four times ten to the fourth. Okay, got that. Then we're gonna have ten to the fourth to the negative seventh. So let's simplify these guys. So Negative seven plus four is 10 to the negative third. These guys become 10 to the negative ninth. These guys come 10 to the negative eighth. So we have 10 to the negative eighth equals 1.58 times 10 to the negative fourth. Right? They probably want micro, milli. So they want 10 to the negative third. Hmm. So 10. All right, these are Henry's, and we want millihenries. So multiply by hen over 10 to the third millihenries. There we go. If I was smarter, I'd just be able to wing it. I'm not. So we have 1.58 times 10 to the negative one, negative four plus three millihenries, which equals 0 0.158 millihenries. Okay, that seems reasonable. Zero point one five eight. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. All right. Which of these quantities depends on the current? Select all that apply. Magnetic field inside the solenoid. Okay. Well, we just wrote the equation. This was B equals mu naught I number of turns per length. There's a current right there. So check. Magnetic flux through each turn. Well, flux equals magnetic field times area. You already know that area has to do with current, so check, and inductance. So inductance, I'm just gonna say right now, no. Because when you buy a solenoid, like you have like an inductance associated with a solenoid. And when the you know when the cashier guy is handing you the solenoid over the counter, there's not current flowing through it, that'd be terribly, terribly dangerous. Plus this equation right here doesn't have current in it, so no. So here, bam, and bam. Yep, that's all there is for this guy. Just look up the formulas, plug them in. Not too bad. All right, that's it for problem three. On to problem four.